We've spent time following Shore Septic, an operating company of Shore Quality Contracting, LLC. I'm Chris with uh, Shore Septic, Shore Quality Contracting. My name is Garrett Herring. Me and my brother own the company, a uh, small family-owned operation here in Queen Anne's County. And what are we doing here today, Chris? We're pumping a residential septic system. Right now we're pumping out the grease trap for the local Chick-fil-A restaurant. Just routine maintenance quarterly, about every three months, just keep everything flowing. It's more than just pumping the septic tank out. We, we inspect all parts of the septic system, whether it be a pump, a lift pump, sewage pump, baffles, filters. We, we look at it all while we're here. We're not just here to pump, we're here to maintain the system so we get to all components, lids, pump chambers, whatever the, the system entails. Right now we're at the Queen Anne Sanitary District. This is where all the septic and grease comes to get treated um, right here on Kent Island. First get the solid, the solid like toilet paper and all that out and then it runs into the building and uh, between different UV filters and stuff that's way over my head uh, then you know it ends up clean water and dumps right out, right out in the bay. What should people be looking for and when should people be contacting you? If you buy a new home I would say have an inspection done on the septic system, make yourself aware of the septic system, get any information you can from the health department you know to know what the system is about. I would recommend every two to three years have the septic pumped out uh, on, a, on a maintenance schedule. You guys do lots of services, right? Yes, sir. We, we also install BATs, uh, sand mounds, uh, at grades, all, all septic services we provide from repairs, pumping, install. If it has to do with septic, you, you can call us on it. So Chris, we're down the end of Route 8. People are on the water here. What should people be looking for when they're either having you guys come out or in, maybe installing a new tank? Right, so you're required to install a BAT tank, which is it stands for best available technology required in critical area, which is typically a thousand foot from the waterfront, which is 90% of Ken Island. The ultimate goal of BAT is to reduce the nitrogen in the wastewater dispersed into the earth, which ultimately ends up in the bay, and that's why we have you know nitrogen issues in the bay. So it reduces the nitrogen that's dispersed by the tank into the earth. That's you know why we're installing these on the waterfront. Um, and that's what the aerator does. When you introduce oxygen into the wastewater, it reduces the nitrogen. So what's next for Shore Septic? I guess we're just expanding into uh, new territories, looking for more commercial, you know, bigger projects that we can help out with um, in the county, looking for any new technologies, any, anything that'll help us uh, in the future. We are looking for new people. We're always looking for people, responsible drivers, pump truck drivers, triaxle drivers, CDLA with tanker endorsement, CDLB with tanker endorsement, septic technicians that can help us uh, diagnose and repair our system. If you're having problems with your septic, Shore Septic would love to help. In fact, they could even help you in emergencies 24-7. So why not check out their website or give them a call to solve all of your septic problems today.